of the scenes in this video started with a single image before they went into a world building process using worldlabs.ai to create a Gaussian splatted environment, which then I navigated through with a camera to generate the first frames for all of the other scenes. Here, the complete front half of the room was regenerated, filled in by Gaussian splatting. And then using the arrow keys to spatially navigate the scene, I was able to frame each one of the shots, getting low shots, ones from the side of the room, the back door of the room, all of these things then allowed me to place and modify the characters in a subsequent stage where I would touch up the details that were kind of coarse in the Gaussian splatting, bring in characters into the room through doors, add in, for example, a bird on the windowsill, um, enabling all of the different characters to interact in the scene in the way that I wanted to. This is a good example of the coarseness from the Gaussian splat for a really challenging point of view, where I actually had to substitute, generate a new character kind of in that position. Um, change its lighting, turn them around, and then generate three different video attempts until I found one that I thought was good enough to be able to get the look that I wanted to for that storyboard panel. All of these together and you get a video like this one. on YouTube for AI video production technique and go to tenzebra.com to use our collaborative workflows in your projects.